This is written March 2, 1978. Thanks to Dave Mitchell for putting up with our all of one this week. It has been eight years to the week since we wrote our last one, and something over 20 since our first. Things were different then. We lived in half the light building, and printed the paper in the other half. We set the type on a linotype and printed it on a hand-fed flat bed press two pages at a time. Our wife, Clara May, handfolded it. Our office staff consisted of Joe Meyer, who worked Mondays and Fridays, calling everyone in town for items for her popular news briefs column. Her most faithful contributor was probably Alice Hall, who, by the way, is Carol Horrocks. Uh, uh, Joe called her promptly at 10 a.m. every Monday morning, and from her kitchen, out at the point, right above Drake's feet, Alice could tell Joe more about what was happening in Point Reyes than you could believe. Chi-Chi Gabastiani welcomed us to Point Reyes. Just at press time for our first issue, he popped into the office. I've just been engaged, he told Clara May, and I'd like an announcement in the paper. She advised that it was too late for that week's paper, but she would run it the next week. Please, Chi Chi pleaded. It just has to be this week, so my friends will know. Clara made him back to the composing room, and after telling me what a nice young man he was, and how proud he was, we consented to squeeze him. My name is Fernando Sanchez, he told her, and my fiance is Miss So-and-so from Oakland, and our wedding plans are indefinite. First week in town, Clara May, of course, knew neither of the gentlemen, and the announcement ran in the paper. Next morning, the biggest Indian we ever saw showed up in our office, paper in hand, and looked down at us over the counter. What's this? He asked, pointing to the announcement. Well, some guy got engaged. I'm Fernando Sanchez, he informed us. <laughs> he ran back to the composing room where Clara May was folding papers and sought his support. You're not Fernando Sanchez, she told the big Indian. He's a handsome young man with black hair and a little black mustache and drives a big black Cadillac convertible. That's what I thought, said Ferdy. That damn Chi Chi, his longtime friend and buddy. It seems Ferdy had more than a casual acquaintance with a local young woman, and it was she, not he, who spotted the item in the paper. 